Hi, welcome to part two of my video production van build. If you've not seen part one yet, there is a link in the description below and at the end of this video. In this segment, we take the van from an empty shell to a working base. From there, I'll make even more customizations based on my wants and needs for this vehicle. Stay tuned. First things first, at the end of the last video, we talked about a couple naming options I had for this van. You guys voted in the comments and on Instagram. It was between Vanny DeVito and Vanning Tatum. The results are in and Vanny DeVito won by a huge margin. Thanks to all of you who voted. The partition was the first big piece to be installed. I cannot have built anything else without first having this installed. That's because the partition takes up space, and it bows out in the middle to allow you to adjust the seats in the cab. When we measure for the other installations, we need to account for the room that it takes. It just made more sense to start here and build around it versus the other way around. The partition is ABS plastic without a window from a brand called Naphide. Having a plastic partition is supposed to help lower the noise from the cargo area and add better climate control for the cab area. The alternative was a metal partition. Both the plastic and metal partitions are similar when it comes to protection. I also had insulated Duratherm liner installed on the van's walls and doors. This protects the interior of the cargo area from damage that can come from moving heavy cases, stands, and equipment in and out of the vehicle. Without this liner, there is just a thin sheet of metal and that's easily dented. I had these two modifications installed professionally by US Upfitters. I could have installed them myself, but I didn't really feel comfortable drilling things into my walls or floor. I just thought it would be better to let the professionals do this part. The folks at US Upfitters did an amazing job and they have a ton of options for customizing vehicles like this. After the partition and liner install, I cleaned things up a bit and I was able to move on to the next part of the plan, building and installing the base. For this part, I had a ton of help from my friend Pete Antor. He's an artist, metalsmith, and woodworker. And he was nice enough to lend me his expertise with this project. Check him out in the description below. He makes amazing stuff. With Pete's help, we were able to keep things almost identical to the build plan I laid out in part one of this series. We used three quarter inch plywood for the flat parts and two by sixes in between to support the weight and create cubbies. The idea is that the cases and bulkier items go on top and stands and thinner items go into the cubbies. This keeps the stands off the cases and vice versa, so everything is more organized and easier to grab when you need it. I got the inspiration for this build through another friend of mine, Damon Hennessy, who has a very similar layout for his van. I'll leave a link to his website below. Pete and I had to get the plywood cut at a home improvement store so that it would fit in the van and even then it was tight. Having the partition installed actually limited my ability to carry eight foot long wood, so that may be something to consider if you're going to make anything similar. Just get the wood before the partition is installed. In our case, Pete was able to fit the two by sixes, which were also eight foot long in his Honda Fit, which is pretty amazing. We didn't want to cut the two by sixes at the store because we were not sure yet how long we needed them and we didn't want to lose any wood. We started with the bottom piece of plywood. This was the piece that everything else was built on and it would also be the longest piece of wood in the van. From there, we laid out the two by sixes, determined how long they needed to be and started assembling. We used one and one half inch wood screws to seat everything together. Once we got the first layer done, the second layer went in even faster. As you can see in the footage, I did three cubbies in the bottom and two at the top. On the sides, I did two cubbies at varying lengths to account for the taper of the partition. My game plan is to see how this works over time and adjust it if necessary. Thanks to Pete, this whole design is super easy to disassemble, remove, or rebuild in different configurations. The mini partition is just a leftover piece of plywood and a 2x6 for extra support. It's attached using L brackets and 3 quarter inch wood screws. It's very easy to remove and also quite sturdy to stop the movement of heavy cases when driving. Once everything was built, I did a final cleanup and then it was time for loading. I tried a few different positions for equipment, but I ultimately landed on big stuff in the back and smaller stuff on the sides. Time will tell if it stays like this. I might also increase the size of the mini partition to allow for more cases to be stacked in the back section. For now though, it's a perfect setup for everything I need. 
Stands stay off the cases, and everything is easily accessible. I mean, it's just really going to be great to have everything with me at all times. Having it organized and protected will help the flow of the workday and make progress more smooth. As a finishing touch, I put on a few stickers to brighten up the cab a bit. The next few installations will be lighting, some battery support, and more stickers? I might also paint it, and maybe a safe place to store my camera while it's built. I'll also go over everything I have in the van. Look out for part 3 soon, and thank you so much for watching. You are great, you are worth it, and you matter.